there we are out on the tracks again mint bush fire trail and we're going to get down and possibly do monkey gum so it looks a little wet but should be fun we'll see we'll see what happens Gemma will be driving today I've handed the keys to her since it's now going to be her car it's her first time ever doing technical wheeling so let's see how she handles mint bush and monkey gum the Nissan Navara belongs to my brother this is the first time he's ever wheeled in Yarwool or done any type of hard technical wheeling. So let's see how the Navara handles it. It's a nice little rock step that one. I reckon it would have caught a few people out. It's not massive, it's just this hole in the middle, that's all. The hole I think gets people. You can see that. It's just real rocky and cut out. Just don't want to hit those door seals on it. Cruiser's got sliders, but the Navara doesn't, so it could take it nice and easy. These are just all the little wombat holes along Mint Bush Fire Trail on your way down to Monkey Gum. It's not actually the flex track. The flex track you would take your right at the campground. There's a fork in the road. You'd take a right, head down that way if you're looking for the actual flex track. We we're just having some fun here and just testing out the cars and seeing what their capabilities are so we knew how to handle the rest of the day. There you go. Just needed that a little bit more. I just got stuck and slid. You can tell that one had a few ruts in it because once you got in it sort of pulled you into the side a little bit luckily didn't get wet so happy just trying to dodge the water now Lovely. Just trying to remember this bit. I think it's high line because it feels pretty sketchy when you're down in there. Walk to the bank. Up the bank. Up the bank. Yep. Right. Stop. Slowly. You're about to come off. Yep. Keep coming. Walk to the bank. Yep. And then steer the bank a little. It's going to lean massively. Worse than where you are now. Fit to me. Yeah. You're just riding up this wall. You just gotta worry about your rear. Off this rock, just nice and slow. Yep. And then hard. Cut me a bit. Yep. 
You all good? I'm on a seesaw. Yeah, because it went one wheel and it was fucking half a meter in the air. Now I reckon I could nearly sit under that. Yeah. <laughs> no, probably not. Yeah, then we'll rock it. <laughs> yeah, and we'll rock it back and forth. Nice and straight, yep. Yep. And then just steer with it. It's going to come down. A lot of these nice little washouts through mint bush around here, as you can see behind me. And they just make tracks through the sides of them. It's just where the creek runs through. Like I've got a little waterfall here. I might even put my head in that. That looks fresh as. Yeah, you're right. You're about to come down now. It's coming. There you go. Trekking our way down mint bush, try not to get eaten by goanas at the moment. A nice lean. I'd say I'm pretty level. This is still mint bush fire trail. Mint bush fire trail takes a lot longer than it you think it took us longer to do mint bush than it did monkey gum we had lunch at the top of mint bush at around 11 11 30 and we didn't finish the day until about 6 30. majority of that was driving down mint bush as it's such a longer track than monkey gum monkey gum is a bit more technical driving and a bit more difficult but in lengthwise mint bush is way longer yeah Yeah, keep coming, keep coming. Yeah, right. Yep, now steer into the bank more. Yep. Just sort of keep that riding on that bank. Yeah, right. Just go straight. Straighten her up. Another one of these little creek crossings. They get pretty wild through here. Be good to get to the gunshot one. It's a nice little wheel lift through there. Old IFS front, eh? Keep coming. Yep, now brake. No clutch, just brake. Yep, just keep, no, just steer straight, steer straight. And just slowly on that, yep. Just send it up 
happen. Now very slow. Watch this bank when you go up. I'll push it towards it. Down at another one of these creek crossings. You can see a line that people would have driven back in the day, but good luck now. Good luck. So anyway, we're gonna send it up this little bit here. Nice easy entry point. Lovely. That actually wasn't too bad. The old no flex IFS front. Nearly fell down there. So this is Yarl gunshot, as I'm gonna say. was a little hell of a lot softer than I thought at the bottom too. Had to give her, give her a little bit of the berries to get her through. Luke's just going to come around the side. It actually wasn't as bad as I thought. I thought it was going to be horrendous. You're right. Keep coming at that line and I'll tell you when you're going to... Yep. A little bit of that. And this is the start of Monkey Gun Fire Trail. It took us a couple goes to get both cars up this little section here. Just there you can see the rock on your left where I'm standing. It kept pushing you towards it just because it was a little bit wet. It required a little bit more momentum and we'll just try not to do as much panel damage as possible. So we're just on monkey gum, driving around, IFS is, I don't think it's really IFS territory to be honest, it's just a little bit greasy and I, I don't, I hate pushing IFS cars, I don't want to break CVs so, so we're just out here, having a little crawl around, hopefully it doesn't take us too long to get these two cars up here. Coil rear works great, but needs needs to be sassed. Just I don't trust IFS. I'm not an IFS man. I really, really don't trust it. Just looks scary the whole time. Not a bad little rock set this one. I like this one. I did it last time I was here for a bit more thrill. First time ever doing it and I actually enjoyed it. 
And then we send the IFS up this track because it's much easier. We want to go break it up. And I'm going to be fit enough to run marathon soon. I've dead set walked every bit of monkey gum so far. Every bit. I haven't gone in the car once. So, we'll keep going and see how long we can run it for, eh? I'm pretty, pretty stuffed. Nearly down, just nice and easy because that's going to hit a log. Yep, now just climb. Keep coming to me. Very slow. Keep going. Yep. Now, to me, a smidge, very minimal. Yes, maybe more, tiny bit. So we're getting pretty close to the top of monkey gum now. The GoPro died for a little while, so made it a little bit hard to film. I don't think it's called V Rock, but very infamous rock this one. People will either take the very, very hard line or the, the easier line. It's gonna be a good one. Someone's already done a window. You know you're getting close to the top when you start to get this. <whistles> Looks unreal. Full dinosaur park down here. Right, top of monkey gum, here we are. Last little crawl. This should be a nice easy one. We had a humongous winch. I'll give you a rundown shortly. We've uh, finished. My verdict is, don't like IFS vehicles going down monkey gum. 33s were just not enough. Um, towards the top, it was all right most of the way until we got towards the top and then he got hung out and he just bellied out. And it was such a big winch. We had to back that down, put it in, double line pull off that just to try and pull in the opposite direction. I buried that nearly to the chassis rails just trying to keep it still because he was just pulling me backwards. That's how stuck it was. But um, we made it, we're out. Damaged two door seals and upper control arm on the IFS vehicle snapped a bolt. So we had to tie, we've got a split pin through the, the nut, uh, the bolt, the nut got sheared, sorry. Got a split pin through it, an R pin, and then we've tied the control arm to it. So hopefully it gets us home anyway, but we'll see how we go. Here we are, all that driving for this. Whew. 
Lovely, lovely. I gotta shoot home because it's late. It took us so much longer than we thought. <laughs> like and subscribe. I hope you've been enjoying these videos we're bringing out because we're bringing more. There once was a ship that put to sea The name of the ship was the Billy Ote. The winds blew hard, her bow dipped down Below me, bully boy